In this video, we will show you how to use Paint Stitch, one of the patented features of the software, to create a unique and realistic feel for your logos and other embroidery projects. We will create a BBQ logo, which we will use to decorate an apron, a perfect gift for anyone who loves to cook or grill. Let's see how we can do this. Start with the lettering tool. Type BBQ in capital letters, short for the word barbecue. Choose a simple but bold font like Arial Black. Use font size 50 as we want the final design to be around 15 cm wide. Now let's decorate the lettering part using paint stitch. We need a picture of realistic flames. It could be a personal photo or a picture you like and have the license to use. The picture we have used for this video is included in the tutorial and you may use it for your personal projects. This image will be converted into paint stitch and trimmed into the shape of the lettering part. So, let's import the image using the From File option. Locate the image you want to cover into paint stitch and open it. From the appearing dialog and conversion options provided, use the Open as paint stitch option. We want the width to be wider than 150 mm and the height longer than 100 mm so that we can fully cover the lettering part. With paint stitch, you can have photorealistic embroidery results with the use of advanced algorithms that are implemented for this purpose. The conversion is automatic, but you can further customize the paint stitch results from the options that you will find in the Properties toolbar when the design is selected. Select a thread palette to get a better preview. Specify the number of colors, while keeping in mind that the more you reduce the colors, the less details the design will have, but you have less color changes. So take your time to find the number of colors that satisfies you the most, depending on the specific design you're working on. To make all transitions more realistic, select Full Blending of Colors. You can find more information about all paint stitch properties in the tutorials listed on the welcome screen. Now, we will move the letters behind the design. You can easily move around the image using the arrows on your keyboard. Select both parts and from the shaping tools, use the intersect option. It is important to select the paint stitch part last as the new object copies the properties of the last selected object. So a new shape is created with the shape of the lettering part and the feel of the paint stitch design. Isn't it nice? Delete the original parts as we don't need them anymore. Now, to give a more dramatic effect to our shape, we can transform the letters to simulate the outline of real flames. We can do that in various ways. The obvious way would be to edit the shape of the letters using the node editor. The new shape will be filled with paint stitch as long as it is still on top of the image area. Another way would be to import any image from the clipart or the symbol library. For example, this brush. Split the image using the knife tool, keeping only the portion you need. Twist it a bit to make it look like a flame. and weld it to the Paint Stitch logo. Skill designers can create a flame shape using the Digitize tools. And likewise, weld it to the Paint Stitch design. 
Last but not least, you can bring in an image and trace the flame outline. Adjust the size of the traced image to suit the design. Hide the backdrop image to get a better preview. Ungroup the traced images to remove any unnecessary parts. Fine-tune the size and placement, making sure each flame corresponds to a letter. Now select all the flames, add the lettering to the selection, and weld them together. This gives a more crisp result. Using the node editor, we can move all nodes so that the shape is completely on top of the flames area and eliminate these transparent spots. Using the node editor, you can still edit the shape of the letters on fire as you want. Before we embroider this, let's check the sequence on Slurry Draw. Everything looks okay. We only need to clean up these jump stitches and select a suitable hoop. Switch to manual mode so that the design is optimized once. And let's change the hoop. I will rotate the hoop by 270 degrees so that the excess part of the apron stays at the outer part of the hoop for my machine. Center to the hoop. As you can see, the excess part of the apron can lay outside of the machine hoop while embroidering. Our customized BBQ apron design is ready. So let's export the printout to help with alignment of the design on the apron. Use the design only option and enable only essential elements like the hoop, the grid and the starting point. Make sure that the scale is 100% and print the design. Let's get to make it. For this project, we need a ready-made apron, the printout of the design, a ruler to help us align the design, a fabric marker, iron-on stabilizer, suitable hoop, assorting threads, and fusible backing. Now fold the apron in half and press it to mark the center front. Unfold the apron and mark the press center using the fabric marker and the ruler. Place the print at the height you prefer, aligning it to the center of the apron using the starting point lines for guidance. A general guideline is to place the top edge of the design about 10 to 15 centimeters below the edge of the apron. Mark the sides of the print. Iron the stabilizer on the wrong side of the apron. I've used two layers of stabilizer for this one. Place the apron in the hoop while aligning the marks on the apron with the marks of the hoop. Use pins to hold the straps or any excess fabric that could block the machine. When using pins, make sure they don't harm your machine. Load the design in the machine. Stars embroidering. Follow the instructions of the machine to change color threads until the design is finished. Detach the hoop from the machine.
and remove the apron from the hoop. Cut away any excess stabilizer. For a cleaner finishing at the back, you may use iron-on fusible backing to cover the back of the stitches. Our BBQ apron is done. Enjoy the ease of paint stitch to create stunning designs without being reeled.